Working to work on the procedures needed to bring managed health care legislation to the House floor today. The committee chaired by David Dreyer of California, the ranking member Martin Frost of Texas. When the House Rules Committee has finished its business, we'll return to our regularly scheduled programming here on C-SPAN 2. Good morning. The uh, Rules Committee will reconvene. We are going to uh, continue uh, our work on the Patients' Bill of Rights, and we are convening an emergency meeting for consideration of a, um, a rule that will allow for pro forma sessions to continue uh, through August until we uh, have the adjournment completed. And we are going to uh, begin with uh, a motion that is being offered by the uh, gentleman from Florida. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Oh, Mr. Frost, excuse uh, me. May I make one comment before Surely. the uh, motion? Um, I think that uh, many members are aware that uh, uh, this is the last uh, meeting for uh, George Crawford, the longtime um, staff director on the Democratic side. He is uh, leaving the Rules Committee to pursue other pursuits. Uh, he has been uh, a extraordinarily valuable member of this committee, and uh, we will all miss him. Well, let me just say, Mr. Frost, that I know uh, after last night, uh, Mr. Crawford is going to deeply regret uh, leaving <laughs> the staff of the Rules Committee, and uh, he will go back to probably having uh, eight hours of sleep a night or something close to that. But he's provided many years of uh, wonderful service. How many years have you worked? 18 years on the Rules Committee, uh, almost as long as you, Mr. Frost, uh, on, the, on the Rules Committee. And uh, I think we should all give Mr. Crawford a great round of applause for his wonderful service. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. And with that, the uh, chair will be in receipt of a motion. The gentleman from Sanibel, Florida, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It gives me great pleasure to move that the committee grant H.R. 2563 a structured rule providing two hours of general debate equally <laughs> divided and controlled by the chairman and ranking minority members of the Committee on Energy and Commerce, the Committee on Education and Workforce, the Committee on Ways and Means. The rule waives all points of order against consideration of the bill. The rule makes in order only the amendments printed in the Rules Committee report accompanying the resolution, which may be offered only in the order printed in the report, may be offered only by a member designated in the report, shall be considered as read, shall be debatable for the time specified in the report, equally divided and controlled by the proponent and opponent, shall not be subject to amendment, and shall not be subject to a demand for division of the question in the House or in the Committee of the Whole. The rule waives all points of order against the amendments printed in the report. And finally, the rule provides one motion to recommit with or without instruction. So moved, Mr. Chairman. You've heard the motion of the uh, gentleman. Let me uh, just say that uh, we all know there's been a, a lot of work. Uh, Mr. Goss has worked for, he said, 12 years on this. The speaker has talked about a decade. Uh, I, uh, a few hours ago, referred to the fact that I introduced uh, legislation, uh, having worked with the National Center for Policy Analysis and several other people uh, on MSAs in 1987. So we all have spent a long time on the uh, legislation that is finally before us. And uh, we know that uh, it's been somewhat challenging, but I'm convinced that we have a wonderful opportunity to finally give the American people uh, the kind of <clears throat> protection they need as they look at their health care needs. With that, we'll see if there are any motions. Uh, Chairman, uh, Mr. Frost, a general comment, and then I do have a motion. Um, I noticed with interest all the uh, statements of support for the concept of a patient's bill of rights on the Republican side uh, in the wee hours uh, this morning, late last night. I just recall in the last session of the Congress, uh, when we passed a, a very strong patient's bill of rights, that there was considerable opposition on the Republican side to a a strong patient's bill of rights. And in fact, this committee rigged the rule uh, two years ago to make it very difficult uh, to pass a strong patient's bill of rights, making the supporters go through all kinds of uh, hoops on the floor. I'm glad that we've had uh, converts to the concept, even though we don't agree with the exact specifics that are before us. And Mr. Chairman, 
Uh, I move the committee postpone the granting of a rule on H.R. 2563, the Bipartisan Patients Protection Act, until me immediately upon the return of the House in September. I offer this motion because uh, the proceeding we went through last night where the lead sponsor, Mr. Norwood, came to this committee uh, could not answer questions about his own proposal. Uh, we didn't see the proposal until just a few moments ago this morning. Uh, I think there are a lot of very serious issues involved in this, and the House should have the opportunity to spend a little bit of time reviewing this momentous legislation. I don't expect the Republicans to grant this motion, but I think that it would make great sense for the country if the people voting on this had a little time to review this. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that's a very interesting motion. I've never heard of one that calls for the postponement of consideration of a measure for uh, for a month uh, or any amount of time like that. I will say that, uh, again, uh, we provided the uh, package that Mr. Norwood has been working on with the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the President to the minority uh, more than an hour ago, and we said we wanted to provide ample time for members to uh, review it. We've gotten an outline. We've had uh, a number of very strong statements made, uh, as you said, in support of this concept. And I think that today is the day that we uh, hope to uh, move this forward. And we, uh, I would recommend a no vote on the Frost Amendment. Any further discussion? If not, the vote occurs on the Frost Amendment. Those in favor will say aye. Aye. Those opposed will say no. No. We'll paint the chair. The noes have it. The noes have it. The motion is not agreed to. Are there further amendments? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Frost. Um, I have an amendment. I move the committee grant H.R. 2563 an open rule. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is momentous legislation. Um, we don't have to leave today. We originally weren't going to leave until tomorrow. Um, there certainly should be an opportunity for full consideration of this matter on the floor, and I think an open rule on a very important piece of legislation like this would be very appropriate and would serve the best interests of the House and the country. Well, thank you very much uh, for your uh, thoughts on this, and uh, I think at this juncture, having uh, gone through this uh, long and drawn out process. Uh, we've, I believe, structured a very fair and balanced rule that will allow for the full consideration of a, a wide range of, of options uh, that uh, will be before uh, members of the House. You want to be recognized? Okay. Uh, if there's no further discussion, the vote occurs in the Frost Amendment. Those in favor will say aye. Those aye. opposed, no. And pay the chair, the noes have it, the noes have it, the motion is not agreed to. Are there further amendments? Mr. Mr. Chairman, Frost. I move the committee make in order the amendment by Representatives Gansky and Dingell and ask that the amendment be given the appropriate waivers. This is the amendment number nine, which was submitted to the Rules Committee in advance of the deadline set for amendments. It is a substitute to the Bipartisan Patients Protection Act, which has been modified to, to include provisions which would pay for the cost of the bill. Now, the Republicans in the House seem determined not to pay for legislation that we're passing. Uh, they didn't pay for the energy bill that we passed last night. They don't want to provide for provisions to pay for the cost of this legislation. I'm just amazed that my friends on the Republican side have become such free spenders as they have moved along in time. Well, we've certainly had uh, examples uh, that uh, have gone before us, but uh, that really is not uh, our intent at all. It's, uh, I think, a... Uh, a very, very uh, good measure that we're going to have before us, and I would uh, urge a uh, no vote. Uh, vote occurs in the Frost Amendment. Those in favor will say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Roll call, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman please. Have it. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Goss. No. Mr. Linder. No. Ms. Price. No. Mr. diaz Ballard. Mr. Hastings of Washington. No. Mrs. Myrick. No. Mr. Sessions. Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Frost. Aye. Mr. Hall. Aye. Mr. Slaughter. Mr. Hastings of Florida. Aye. Chairman. No. Clerk will report the total. Three A's, six nays. Three A's and six nays, and the amendment is not agreed to. Are there further amendments? Mr. Frost. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have an in block amendment to the rule. I move that the committee make and order the following amendments. Velasquez amendment, <coughs> Wiener amendment, Collins Pomeroy amendment. You've heard the uh, motion of the gentleman. Any discussion? If not, the vote occurs in the Frost amendment. Those in favor will say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The pay the chair, the noes have it. The noes have it. The motion is uh, not agreed to. Are there further amendments? Mr. Chairman? 
Mr. Hastings. I do not have an amendment, but I just have a request of the chair for future purposes. Um, last night, um, after spirited debate and the early portion of um, uh, our discussion, the chair um, uh, said to me that we would have ample time um, uh, to read uh, the measure. I Maybe I don't have much of a life here, but sometimes I do read legislation. and. Um, I know that it has been made available as of 10 minutes of 8 this morning. Excuse uh, me, I think it was, it was uh, 7.20 this morning was okay. when we made it. Well, so then it's, my, been, it's been an hour. All right. My recommendation is very simple. Uh, first off, I don't think that's ample time uh, to digest uh, uh, legislation. I recognize that we're in the process business. But what I would hope that uh, would happen in spite of uh, the earliness of the hour um, is that um, at least one member be provided a copy upon request. And uh, I have a fax machine at home, and uh, I don't know whether that's the minority's uh, uh, right. uh, position to have to get it to me or what have you, but I, I think all of us uh, should at least have it. I still have not read the let amendment me, to the base bill. Let me just say that I, I think the gentleman makes a very good point, and I will tell you that, that uh, we really have worked through the night and we've uh, turned ourselves inside out to try and get it to you in as expeditious a manner as we possibly can. Uh, and I believe that, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't think there's anyone on this committee who could uh, talk about every detail that exists in this package. Uh, we are going to uh, have a chance to report this out and then we'll have a debate on the floor. And this rule calls for many of the questions that my friend has, uh, has raised in the hearing last night to be uh, discussed on the floor, and I think that there will be an opportunity to do that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You bet. Thank you, and thank you very much for your service, and thanks very much for the very good questions that you uh, raised last night uh, and the strong statements that you made as well. That would be earlier today. Well, uh, <laughs> well he did. You know what? He was doing it last night, too. Last night and into early today, as uh, Mr. Uh, Goss has correctly said. Uh, we're preparing now to vote on the um, on the uh, motion of the gentleman from Sanibel. But just before we do, I'd like to call on Mr. Goss uh, for a statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I uh, don't think this moment should pass without recognizing that we have extraordinary staff that help us, and many have uh, gone through the night yet again on this subject, uh, both sides of the aisle. And I think that uh, American people need to know that. One in particular I'd like to single out is an alumnus, a graduate of this committee, who has moved on to a lesser job, unfortunately, but uh, is still pulling all-nighters. Mr. Darren Wilcox, who I remember about 12 years ago doing all-nighters under Roland Bilirakis or uh, whatever it was that we called it in those days, uh, sees culmination, and he looks like he's had too many all-nighters. But we wish him well and thank him for his efforts. Thank, thank you, you very Mr. much, Darren. And thanks to, le thanks to all of the staff members who've worked uh, on the minority and the majority side. And once again to Mr. Crawford, after 18 years of wonderful service to, uh, to this committee, we uh, wish him well. And the uh, vote now occurs on the motion of the gentleman from Sanibel. Those in favor will say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. No. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Roll, roll the call, Mr. Chairman. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Goss. Aye. Mr. Linda. Aye. Ms. Price. Aye. Mr. Diaz Millard. Mr. Hastings of Washington. Aye. Mrs. Myrick. Aye. Mr. Sessions. Aye. Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Frost. No. Mr. Hall. No. Mr. Slaughter. Mr. Hastings of Florida. No. Mr. Chairman. Aye. And the clerk will report the total. Seven yeas, three yeas. And the motion is agreed to, and I'm very happy to report that the veteran of the committee who continues to stay here, who has worked for 12 years on this issue, Mr. Goss, will be managing for the majority. Mrs. Slaughter will be managing for the minority. And Mrs. Slaughter for the minority. And uh, we uh, now will uh, be uh, in receipt under the emergency meeting uh, structure that I outlined, uh, additional rule. Mr. Goss. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move the committee report a resolution providing that when the House adjourns on the legislative day of Thursday, August 2nd, 2001, or Friday, August 3rd, 2001, on a motion offered pursuant to this resolution by the majority leader or his designee, and on each of its successive days of meeting under this order, it stand adjourned until noon on each third successive day until it shall convene at 2 p.m. on Wednesday, September 5th, 2001. The rule also provides that the House shall stand adjourned pursuant to a concurrent resolution providing for the summer district work period upon receipt of a message from the Senate transmitting its adoption of such concurrent resolution. You've heard the motion of the gentleman. Any discussion? 
If not, the vote occurs on the motion of the gentleman. Those in favor will say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Pay the chair the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The motion is agreed to. And Mr. Sessions will be managing this rule for the majority. And I will handle it for the minority. And Mr. Frost for the minority. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Randazzo, our staff director, has just said everyone should go home and go to sleep now. But some of us are going to continue our work, and uh, we've got an important meeting downstairs. So with that, the Rules Committee stands adjourned. I hope everyone has a wonderful August. Thank you all very much for your fine service and understanding of our challenges here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. The House Rules Committee has just approved the rule for the full House to consider managed health care legislation today. That issue, generally referred to as the Patient's Bill of Rights, will be on the floor when the House convenes at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and you'll see live gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of that debate on our companion network, C-SPAN. Next, our schedule on C-SPAN 2 over the next hour. This Sunday on American Politics, Pat Buchanan speaks to the Reform Party about their future in politics and issues like embryonic stem cell research. Now I stand for life, and my country is not Weimar Germany.